Hello and welcome. Today we are at the Finest Spirits in Munich. And today we will taste a few new whiskies and see what this fair is all about. We are at the Highland Park Lounge and now I'm going to try the Highland Park Odin from the Goddess series, I think. And let's have a try. Host already did a video about it. If you want to see it, then follow the link. Ah. Smell the oak. Very nice. Very intense, very strong in the beginning. A lot of spiciness. Also feel a bit of chili. Very good finish for the series. And in the end of the year, we're gonna have a new one, a new series. We're at the Artback stand and we have something very innovative here. It's the Artbeck Seal. It's not a bottling, it's a kind of enjoying the whiskey. And if you come closer, I'll show you. Here, maybe you see it. We have the, the Artbeck Kildalton in there and it's, it's, it's turned into a fog by <laughs> ultrasonic sound and the ultrasonic sound produces a cold fog that can now be enjoyed through a straw. Then you have the perfect nosing experience. Now I'll try it. Really feel the peat, some oakiness. It's, it's not in your mouth, but it's somewhere, somehow everywhere. Very, very nice. Also a faint, a faint sweetness. Very, very nice. Artbeck, always something new. We are at the Artbeck main attraction. So come closer and I'll show you what you see here. This is uh, the Artbeck space, a Fiola that was sent to the International Space Station and what is there to test how whiskey matures without gravity. The tube the Fiola had some oak cask parts in it to let the spirit um, get some of the flavors. Another Fiola was stored uh, on Earth at Artbeck and so you can, can take now a comparison what is better, store your whiskey in space or on Earth. Technically that's not a whiskey because it wasn't in a cask and you're not allowed to put anything into your cask except whiskey. We're now at Jack Daniels with a Tennessee whiskey. The laws in America are pretty strict with whiskey. No sherry casks, no cask finishes, nothing funny. Just fresh American oak charred barrels. But Jack Daniels is a bit more intuitive and they have something special. The Jack Daniels Sinatra Select. And I'm gonna tell you now what the Sinatra Select is all about. If you have a look here, this is a raw, raw cask, a raw barrel, how the Americans say it, um, made of fresh American wood. Then you can either go and toast it, so you just have a bit of, a, bit of fire in there and get a, a light toast here. If you want to have it charred, then you have to, I don't know, char it for at least 40 seconds and you get this alligator skin. Now let's come, go to the other side and show you what the Sinatra Select is all about. Okay, here we have the charred barrels, just like from the other side, and here are used barrels. 
come closer. Use barrels. Um, you can see that, that there is no, no, nothing of the wood flavors in there anymore. Not so strong. And all the sugars from the burnt wood are gone. The Sanato Select is special because the, the Americans use uh, drilled some lines in there, about three millimeters uh, deep, that's three sixteenths of an inch, and that increases the, the not the volume, but the, the area of, of touching of the whiskey a lot. And yeah, that lets the spirit mature a lot faster and a lot better. I'm still at Jack Daniels and Jack Daniels enabled me to do something very special and that is uh, seeing the difference between uh, non-charcoal mellowed whiskey and not a charcoal mellowed whiskey. This here is the white dog that comes out of the stills from Jack Daniels reduced to drinking strength of uh, 43 um, percent volume and that's what I have here in the glass oh, here in the glass and everybody who knows how charcoal uh, how a, a white dog tastes uh, is very sharp and almost like a wine spirit mm. definitely not the whiskey just the spirit and then they gave me the Tennessee after charcoal mellowing, which is um, <coughs> oh, mm, white dog is rough. <laughs> that is the the white dog straight from the stills, um, run through little bits of charcoal that take out the sharp sharp aromas from the white dog definitely much mellower, much more mellower. Still rougher than a, than a bourbon, but a lot better. Yeah, very interesting. We're now here with Irish Lifestyle, and I have this new, very special glass. We already promoted a bit in Germany, but it's not a mass product yet, and we're looking to get that around the world. I'll not take a zip, this is just plastic. <laughs> so I'm still here with Irish Lifestyle. And we have two new products. First product is the, is the Tomatin Cask Strength Edition. It will be, will be a new standard product. And here I have Scott, who is the European sales manager. Yep. And he will tell you something about it now. Okay, so the Cask Strength Edition is our first Cask Strength addition to the core range. Uh, what we've done here is we've matured the whiskey in a combination of ex-bourbon barrels and Spanish sherry casks and it gives it some really fantastic flavours there. It's at 57.5% alcohol, so great uh, depth of character, uh, great levels of flavour and when you add a little bit of water it opens up even more, so a really fantastic whiskey. Shall we try it now? I think so, yeah. You pour it. <laughs> Cast strength, how many ABVs was that? 57.5. Uh, 57.5 ABV. Yeah. But it's, it's still like a typical tomatin. Tomatin's a light, delicate spirit. And so when we try this whiskey, you don't really get much of a burn off it. It's still very smooth, very easy to drink. Uh, and just a fantastic drop of tomato um, on the nose. There's a lovely bit of syrup to start with, really a nice sweetness that comes from that combination of the bourbon and the sherry. It adds that real depth there. Um, tomato typically has some uh, citrus fruits in it as well. Uh, most tomatoes that you can try, uh, like the 18 year old, you'll be able to pick out a, a slight orange note and you get that there as well on the nose. Yeah. I'm I definitely have the orange note. Yeah. Okay, let's have a try. Slanger. Slanger. Yeah. Oh. Really Sulky. lovely. 
great body. The sherry is really prominent on the palate, I find, at, at full strength. Um, you get some lovely marzipan, some burnt toast, some real pastries as well, and yeah. still the sweetness. Um, and the finish is fantastic, really lovely long finish, it sticks yeah. there for a while. I really have a long finish. Yeah. Okay, I'm afraid I, I'll ask for some water yeah, before absolutely. we taste the next absolutely. one. <laughs> oh yeah, water to open it up. And when we add the water to this, what you find is that there's a lot more of that juicy fruit flavor. Some more of the, the tropical notes come through. You get a, a lovely bit of pineapple. Some more of that orange. The sherry's still there as well. Great. Really allows it to soften and just open up a little bit. Yeah. I definitely like it with water more. Yeah. What's great about this with the water is the finish is still there. The finish. It's the finish there. is amazing. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Nice. Thank you. It's a good new standard product. Yeah. So what what else do we have? We have the how do you pronounce that? This is Kubakan. Kubakan. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look. And uh, Kubakan is the Gaelic word for the ghost dog. And it tells the story of a, a, a dog that, uh, that haunts the local area of Tamatin and has done for generations. And the local people, Tamatin still provides houses for the workers, so the local people tell the tale of how this dog continues to haunt the area. Um, and in, at the end of 2013, we released the standard edition of Kubokan. And it's matured in a combination of bourbon barrels, uh, virgin oak casks and sherry casks. And it's the peated spirit from Tomatin. Uh, okay. Is the what's the mixture? Is it like 50-50 virgin oak? No, no. It's uh, there's uh, about uh, there's a good chunk of bourbon in there. Uh, most of it, is, I think, it's a, about 50% bourbon, 25% uh, sherry, 15% virgin oak, and then another 10% is uh, refill bourbon, just to soften it to bring that really lively flavors back down a bit. Sounds like uh, a so very interesting mixture. Th that's the regular Kubokan that we're talking about there. Ah, okay. This, uh, this new edition... <laughs> I thought you were talking about this Sorry, one. no. Uh, this new edition is the virgin oak only. This is the peated Samaritan... 100% virgin oak. 100% virgin oak. So we, what can I can expect is uh, a very, very spicy whiskey or... You would think that, yes. but you get a lot more of the, the sweetness. sweetness. Uh, you get some really lovely fruity flavors there. Um, some oak, uh, but it's not too spicy. And then when we taste it, you get a lot more of, uh, it's like a, a, a nice pecan pie, a toffee, and a good bit of smoke coming through as well. Okay, yeah. <laughs> now I wonder how. Yeah, it. let's give it a go. <laughs> let's give it a, go. <laughs> a couple of glasses here. But I can still feel the, the tomato. Do you have a glass of water? Yes. <laughs> Smaden had a really great aftertaste. Yeah, it's still there. Right? <laughs> it's yeah. still there. That fish is still there. <laughs> okay, let's try it. Stuff. Slanger. So that lovely fruity sweetness right there. For me, there's a lovely apple and pear type of flavor. I would have expected it, much yeah. heavier. There's a little bit of smoke lingering in the background, but not it's not jumping out, it's just hiding there. There's even a bit of pineapple in the nose, I find. And then when we try it, much like the regular Kubokan, the nose and the palate are a little bit different from each other. Um, okay. I already tried it. <laughs> it's much spicier in the, in the taste than yeah. in the nose. Yeah, there's a, a lot more of the oak driven character coming through there. Very oaky. Yeah. But I like it. Lovely toffee it's notes as well. 
caramel. Yeah, feels a little bit. It's nice to try this after the cask's rent. It's at 46%, so it's not as strong, and it's really it nice feels, and soft. It feels a bit creamy now. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? When you, when you taste it in that kind of yeah. combination. Definitely and there's a, that, that bit of smoke coming through. So the Kubokin is 15 ppm, very lightly smoked. Um, and that just really balances well with that light, delicate spirit. I like it. So, have a look in our whiskey database. I'll give you the links when we have the pictures and, and all the data to read up upon. And thank you, Scott. No, thank you. Thank you. And hopefully you enjoyed the, the products. Yeah, hopefully you meet again. Yes, absolutely. Um, let's continue. And now I'm at Glenlivet, and we have something brand new. Not just the founders to serve, you saw in the video earlier. Um, we have the Glenlivet single cask. Very nice model, cask strength. Um, it's unfortunately exclusive to the German market, so you're not going to find it anywhere else except in Germany. So let's have a try. I'm not going to try that much, I already had some today. Fresh. Very intense. Spicy. With pepper. I would say kind of a chili touch. I really like it. Um, not many bottle, bottles on the market, quite expensive, but definitely worth a try. Um, this was the last one for today, so thank you for watching. Yeah, that was the Finest Spirits 2015, and I've brought some presents for Horst to taste in his vlog over the next days. You can guess what's in it, and if you like this video, please subscribe or share it with some friends on Facebook. Thank you.